Hi guys, it's Crystal Sky, and we're here with a sketchbook tour. It's been a while, but um, I finally finished a sketchbook. So this is a moleskin. This is a moleskin tan sketchbook. It's one of those tiny ones. It's not a big one. And I drew this from a tutorial of Mark Crilly's that it didn't turn out as well as Mark Crilly's because Mark Crilly is an art god. <laughs> and then that was my attempt at doing it myself. Again, Mark Crilly is an art god. <laughs> if you don't follow his channel, please go do. Um, just search Mark Crilly, you'll find him. He's, he has books, he's an amazing artist, and he's an art god. <laughs> um, so at the beginning of this month, um, probably December, beginning of December, I was trying noses, I was having a lot of trouble, I was also trying poses, um, also landscapes and perspective. <laughs> A lot of problems there. Uh, this girl is horrifying. It was before I had mastered the art of making a face actually look like a face. So she has a sore cheek. Also, that's a Starbucks cup. <laughs> With a green hat on it. Um, these were all done in Coletto. My Coletto pen actually broke. So, um, I am now drawing with a pencil, which makes it harder for you guys to see the learning draw weeklies. This is a picture from Wildwood. I grew up in New Jersey and the shore to me is like a home and this is a picture of that. Also people, this is the Wildwood sign. It's actually, if you google the Wildwood sign, I'm pretty sure this comes up. It's just my interpretation of it. There are a lot more people in that picture. Um, this is a garden wall. I've never seen over the garden wall, but whenever I hear people talk about it, this is what I think of a garden wall would look like. The only problem that I don't like is this here. It shouldn't be coming towards us. It should be coming that way to deepen the perspective there because the perspective looks flat here. So that's cool. Um, eyes. <laughs> I still need more work with eyes, but I think, I think my, on game, my eye game is on point. I really want to make a big picture of that. You... Do you guys want a big picture of that? Tell, tell me. Maybe I'll do like a, a something with that. And then that's a fairy. Obviously, that's a horrifying girl. She kind of looks like the ugly girl from my first sketchbook tour. Um, these are all Overwatch portraits. This is Diva, Mercy, Symmetra, May, and Tracer. Tracer's the only one I don't like. All the other characters look pretty alright. <laughs> they look like their characters. This is Witch Mercy, by the way. Um, this is from an anime called uh, Twin Sisters on the Mysterious Star. It is a show I watched when I was a little kid. I actually had dial-up internet when I watched it, fun fact. And um, I don't really like them. I like her, but her face is all messed up. It was just kind of like a little fan art that I did for fun. These are their colors, by the way. <laughs> I did that for fun. This is, I'm subscribed to Stevie Ray Drawn, or not subscribed, I guess subscribed on Twitch. I don't know anything about Twitch. <laughs> I am a Twitch noob. But she was doing a still studying thing, and that was my attempt at it in paper. I did a couple on my iPad that were better, but his head's too small. <laughs> like, way too small. Um, again, I'm trying, I don't like that hairstyle, and I keep trying it. It doesn't work, and her feet are too small. Um, this is, she did a winter fawn project that I never finished, but I did work on it. I did a lot of thumbnail sketches and stuff, and, uh, this was one of the final designs. One of the final sketches for that. Um, girl, that is horrifying. She kind of looks like Maylin from Witch. <laughs> have you guys have seen that show? Um, okay, this is a soccer tree. I really like the way it turned out, except this part here should be different, and the perspective here is wrong. But the tree didn't turn out bad, right? <laughs> right? This girl is looking down and crying in a kimono. This is a inspired from um, Fatal Frame. This is inspired from, I think, three or four? Probably four. I don't remember which one had the cherry blossoms on them. But I love Fatal Frame, so I draw a lot of creepy girls in kimono from Fatal Frame. This is also my attempt at a robin. I wanted to have a spring design up on my store on Redbubble, and I never came up with one that was good, so... <laughs> my Redbubble just sits there and, you know... Uh, this is my first attempt at a scene. That guy looks horrifying. <laughs> um, this is my first attempt at, like, a train scene in Japan. It's not... It's not as bad as it could have been. I need to work on my perspective, but that's all right because I'm working on people right now and when I get to a point where I can draw a human face without it looking like an alien, 
I will work on perspective. That's where I'm, that's where I'm going with that. Um, this is from a tutorial that I didn't like on how to draw f side faces, and he used a, a triangle, and I just I don't like it. I don't remember who it was. Um, let's see, triangle again. I didn't like it. Fairy. I really like drawing fairy girls from like the back. Right? And this was done in pastel, so the first thing I've ever done in pastel, so it looks horrible. It looks like a grade schooler did it. Um, this is Moana. Uh, I've been hooked on her song, one of the main songs from the movie lately. I went to go see it, and it was really good. More faces. This girl is from, oh god, Earl Terferi. It's an anime. She actually turned out looking like the girl, almost. I actually like her better. She looks more sad. <laughs> um, this is from a tutorial on drawing. I can't remember his name. He is from Taiwan, I believe. Um, he does a lot of great work, but his tutorial was very hard to understand. <laughs> but this is a tutorial on one of the buildings he drew. This is from earlier in December when I watched uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. It's a tradition in my family. I always watch all of the Christmas movies, all of the animated ones. And um, this is the my interpretation because it looks nothing like him. Uh, the Winter Warlock and that's the Penguin. <laughs> this is a attempt at my table. <laughs> this is what my end table or my couch table looks like at Christmas with the little cottage and the candle and the little wise men statues. That's my mom going nuts. Um, again, my Christmas tree. Uh, my Christmas tree looks better than this <laughs> at home, at least. And there's a little fireplace, even though we live in Florida, we don't need a fireplace. Um, chibi girl. Again, more attempts at trying to get a holiday theme thing down. This is my second attempt at pastels, and everybody said to try an apple, and I think this turned out kind of looking like a peach. <laughs> it's a peach. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> uh, trying different hairstyles, different positions, different poses. Um, this is kind of cool, but again, anything I do in pastels just isn't right. This is like a horror holiday theme that I tried for a while, which it was alright, but it's creepy. Again, I always draw like this. That's the way I draw faces, and I'm, I've gotten much better in the past, uh, even through just this sketchbook. Yeah, even there, it's gotten better. So, side views, working on faces. These are from Mark Crilly's, I think, third or second book of different ways. They're tutorials on how to draw different kinds of faces. This girl is not a tutorial, she is from my brain. Practicing eyes and mouths. Some of these are from Mark Crilly's book. I got uh, all three of Mark Crilly's books uh, for Christmas, so I have literally been doing nothing but Mark Crilly tutorials because, again, Mark Crilly is a god. <laughs> He's an art god. Uh, yeah, again, I'm really trying to get my faces down here. I'm really working hard. These are tutorials on proportion. This is just me being weird. Tutorials on proportion. Her legs are too short. This is my first attempt at my original character, Naname. Um, she is great looking, I think, personally. <laughs> uh, this is a man at the grocery store. My perspective is off. This cart is floating. <laughs> um, go with her hat flying off. This is a attempt at drawing the Stormwind Bank in the Dwarven District. Eh, it's all right. This is a gecko. I wanted my mom wanted me to draw something to put on a shirt. <laughs> she was like, "I want to sell shirts." And there's a flea market down the street, and she's obsessed with making money at this flea market. She wants to sell aprons. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So uh, she didn't like any of them because my mother is one of those people where you draw something for her, and she's like, "No." So uh, this girl I really like, and this monster I also really like. Enjoy that in your nightmares. I'm gonna flip real quick so I don't get any more nightmares from that monster because I've had plenty. Um, his head's too small. Tutorial, tutorial. Tutorial, his legs are way too thick. What? This was a table at New Year's Eve. 
the neighbor next door has a table like that's iron rot it's very cool uh, more faces this one was a tutorial but these were not this one was and this one's not <laughs> I'm getting better I'm getting better these were not tutorials these were just things he had in his book that I was like I want to draw that 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 does not Mark Mark Crilly the God does not draw like that. If you notice, my lines are very wiggly, and I dislike that. What is up with her face? <laughs> uh, I like that. That I drew for my brain. It's me. This, when I draw myself, this is how I draw myself. My face is a little bit too long in this picture, but yeah. Uh, Alice in Wonderland perspective cubes. More face practice. I really like this one and this one. And that's a night off with earphones. I'm obsessed with earphones. I'm wearing earphones all the time. This is all character spreads for my OC Naname. And um, I'm working on it. I really like my OC Naname. So. This is Mercy from Overwatch. Just a sketch of her. I think it turned out really well. My night off with a raincoat and some headphones. And me lying in bed. This is my bed position yesterday. <laughs> uh, a brat stall. More face trying. And that's a mask from... God, I can't remember the anime. If you guys know what anime that's from, please tell me because it's driving me nuts. I even remembered the mask and everything. I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, this is my attempt at a portrait. This was my final attempt at a portrait. I really like her. <laughs> she turned out good dare I say good I did something good guys it happened oh all right so that's a portrait um these are all in the Name face practice um these were all done in 15 seconds I don't think I mentioned in my learn to draw weekly but these were all done in 15 seconds it was a Skillshare tutorial on expression and I did them all with my own character That's fun. It was just a practice. She would name an expression and you'd have to draw it in 15 seconds and then after the 15 seconds were over she would show you what hers looked like. So that's that. Um, dresses and stuff. A portrait attempt that I dislike. And trees. So that's it guys. I didn't put anything in here because I don't use my sketchbooks like that. So that's it. That's my sketchbook tour. I hope you guys liked it. I uh tried really really hard this time and I'm getting I feel like I'm getting better and all I all I ask for is progress in my life so I will see you guys later we're gonna have a digital drawing thing happening soon so if you guys want to check that out on the channel just stay tuned I'm gonna stamp this oh hey look it turned out good I got these stamps a while ago and all right I'm 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 mumbling and rumbling again. Anyway, um, I'm going to be having a digital draw with me scheduled, I don't know when, whenever my Cintiq gets fixed. If you guys have seen the end of my other Learning to Draw Weekly, my Cintiq 22 HD is uh, not working. The pressure sensitivity isn't working and I contacted Wacom Support and they have yet to get back to me. It's been six days. Tomorrow it will be seven. It'll be a week. So I'm going to call them tomorrow and see what the heck. <laughs> and um, that's it. We're, we're going to have a draw with me later. And this sketchbook tour will probably go up Sunday, dare I say? I don't know. I have to schedule it in my Hobonichi. I forget. I'm waiting for my, my January planner and... Uh, I don't know when it's going to be here. <laughs> I need my, my 2017 Hobonichi so I can plan things. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I will see you guys on Friday for more Learn to Draw Weekly. I post every drawing I do every Friday on this channel. If you guys want to uh, stay tuned, click that little red subscribe button and support me, which would be great. I uh, also have a Redbubble shop. One of the designs I did this week... Wait, I have my sketchbook here. This is um, going on one of the designs in my shop. This right here. So go check that out if you're interested. And um, I will see you guys on Friday from our Learn and Draw Weekly. I also have another channel where I do Overwatch videos. I have over 300 videos on that channel so far. The link is in the description below. 
and I upload on that channel every Monday and Wednesday and I upload here every Friday and I also have extra videos that come on every once in a while. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.